So I have a demo app up and running here. It's the home page. And you see there is nothing else on the home page under the pages. And there is no UI components, no UI files, no backend for this app, neither any media, and no internal storage. Recently, we have introduced something called as Firebase Authentication. So if you go to this config file here, and then you hover down, here comes the extensions. So what we need is we need to add an authentication on top of this demo app. And for doing that, all we need to do is we just install this. And while installing, we get a very concise outline on how to do that. So first thing which we need is here, this Firebase config. And how can we get that? So for adding the authentication, we are using something called as Firebase. Firebase is supported by Google, which not only provides the authentication layer, but also it provides us with the database. Actually, data button runs using Firebase. All this authentication which we are doing is via Firebase. All we need to do first is to create a new project. And I say test, uh, let's say auth, and I continue it. And let's say I hit another continue button here. Uh, select an account, default account I choose. I hit create project. So we are now creating a project for the first time in Firebase. Why we need to do that? Because when you create a project, we will get something like this Firebase config. Once we have that, we need to go to this Firebase console. The next part would be to have authentication enabled the sign-in methods, whether it should be via Google or should be via email and password or Facebook, all these things. The next part is we also add, need to add few domains. And this is a concise one. But if you want to get the full guidance, it's how out here in this docs, we have the images here to guide you through. And we did this first part. Next, we we'll, we did this also. We will do this, the web icon and a nickname for the web app we will do next year. We created this, we hit the continue button. It goes inside. And next, as I mentioned, we have to enable the click to the web icon. I hit the web icon here and I say test app and I register my app. That's it. Once you register, we get something called as Firebase config and we copy this part. And as it was suggested, we need to paste it here. We paste it here. That's it. And I go back here to my Firebase and continue to console. It is not the only time where we get this config file. In case we don't copy there, we can go to project settings, go down, here we have the config file. So there are two ways where you can find this config file. Great. So now what I can do is I just hit the install button because all these steps are here in this documentation as well. Data button docs, getting started, authentication integration, Firebase integration. So here is all the steps which we need for this auth implementation. Now once we are here, it says the next part would be, once we have all this thing done, we have copied it, the next part will be to enable authentication. The project, once the project is set up, navigate to the authentication section in the Firebase console uh, side menu. I will do that. I'll go to my Firebase project. I don't see authentication, but it's here. If I go here, authentication, yes, it comes. So I have to hit the get started button. Once I hit this, you will see we are dumped with different ways of sign in method. One way which we all like is via Google. We enable it and I will select the email for this project and I hit the save button. That's it. Very straightforward. And once we have this enabled, we can also enable other parts like uh, LinkedIn or Facebook or we can just add new provider and use email and password. We can use Facebook, play games. Everything can be done. But I'm showing with Google for time being. So once we have this done, and also let me show you, in users, we have no users right now here in our, this project test auth. So what we do next is, I go back here. It says that configure sign-in methods, sign-in method tab, which we change to Google, great. And authorize domains in Firebase to allow sign-ins from your app. Here, we need to add authorized domain. You can read all this part. One of them is databutton.com. We need to add this. Where are we going to add this? We go here. You go to settings. And we go to authorized domains. Under settings, authorized domains, add domain, we hit databutton.com. 
great. It is added. Wait, just one more thing. It's added now for testing in this particular app. But when you deploy it, you also need to add other link, which is like this. So you can add that now, or you can add it later. If you have a custom domain, you have to add that URL as well here in this authorized domain. You need to authorize the domains which your Firebase will use. I click this one. So we enable this now already. And once we enabled it, it installed a few of the packages here. And now we see our home page here with a sign in logic. So this is something which got added. And you see the shield that means the authentication is in this particular page. And we see no error in the log. That's great. We had a login page now as well. If I go back to the edit code, we have this login page. If I go to logout page, there is also a few lines of code. So these are all the logics to log in, to log out. So once we have all this thing, let's give it a try. Your time to test this sign in with Google. Okay, so let's go back to this test auth. And if I go to users, I don't see any user right now in this authentication. If I go back here and I hit sign in with Google, I will see the option to sign in. Let's say I sign in with this particular email ID. It should take me to the home page. Out here, we have it. And now if I go back to our Firebase project and I hit just refresh, I'm expecting a new user here. Right now we have it. We have a user created with the user ID. Very, very straightforward. And that's how easy it is to enable authentication to our data button app. Now let's say you want to add a logout button. I would like to add a logout button to my home page. We already have the sign in enabled. Please check and implement. You can just add a simple prompt like this. I just wanted to be sure that it does this thinking, it needs to see what is added, what's not added. And it says that add a logout button is and the necessary inputs. Here's my plan. Input the auth module from the app, add a logout icon from the usage React, and a logout button is a theme Google. Style it constantly with the theme Google. Super. Let's uh, do that. Let's do that. And I uh, hit the prompt. Now let's see what it does. It's doing some thinking out here. If, if you really want to know the thinking, it says add imports for auth. Uh, it's updating the app page now. This is the app page. If I go back here, I see, let's say, one city, two lines of code. It's updating the app page. We'll see. It's wrapping up the code. It added a logout button. We see here. So it says, added a logout icon and auth inputs. Added a logout button next to theme Google with matching style. So it makes sure that there is a consistent styling here. Added a gap between the buttons using flex. That's super cool. That's pretty cool. And it says implemented the logout function using auth.signout. And now I'll just hit this button. And ta-da. Okay, super cool. Uh, let's try with another email and let's see if it works again or not. So I'll just hit sign with Google. And I will try this time with a new email. Let's say I try with this one. And I continue to this project. It should take me the home page. Yes, it's there. We are inside the home page again. And I just want to log out. Oh, done. Super easy. If you want to change anything out here in this login page, you need to come in login. Check the code. It's very simple. It's welcome to demo app. If you go to the home page now, it's the same thing. Welcome to demo app. So basically, this page is nothing but the login page. So if you change uh, welcome login here, and if I hit this, and I hide this, you see, the home page now looks like this. So any change out here, you just ask it a button. Login page, I'll make it more attractive. And if I hit this button, so what I did was, I added this hashtag and I referred to this particular page so that it knows which page I'm talking about. And if you see, it's a reading the code for, for this login page. And hopefully, hopefully this login page will get updated. It's, it's trying to <laughs> enhance a login page with Neo Brutalist design theme. It did some syntax error. I'm pretty sure it did some syntax error. As it says, it's updating the login page. It can't find a variable card. Uh, it, it, hopefully it will fix. 
okay 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 it, it did something you know so now we have a centered card layout with neo brutalis shadow effects out here and here we go and if i can now go to the home page it looks like this sign in with google i try another new account of mine and if i go to the continue button and now it it should work and tada we have it so it's 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 super simple how this entire thing works it's pretty sick and if i can show you here if i just refresh this part if i refresh it part and see all my accounts are already signed in with this particular app all we did was follow this guide and a quick recap this new extension is out here is out here if you go to this config scroll down at the very button here where the new extension is we add few of the config file which you can get from uh, project settings or you can just get in the very beginning of your app is once we have this thing there the next part which is we go to the authentication we go to the settings and where we added few of the authorized domains it's written very clearly within this docs we just follow them and that's all once we do that we are happy to have our entire sign up workflow and log out along with it within our data button app and we just need to hit the deploy button demo app that's it super easy i would love you guys to try it out